Jesus and his numerous annoyances. And many of you here might be unaware. So think. Think about what I'm about to tell you before you react by simply dismissing it. Open your mind a minute. The driving component, the driving component to global terrorism, interstate conflicts, and underworld economics is narcotics trafficking and the illicit arms trade. Ninety percent of the world's poppy, that is the primary ingredient of heroin and opium, comes from Afghanistan. Last figures topped it nearly at $100 billion a year. The heroin and opium supply that comes out of Central Asia, controlled by tribal mafias, Turkish mafias, and the Sicilian mafias, pump out enough heroin, imagine this, pump out enough heroin to supply the European and U.S. market demands. That's a lot of heroin. The research I invite you to conduct is to think in terms of warfare. It takes arms to protect the supply and the regions they grow. Interstate conflict is effective cover for drug trafficking, generating the need for arms dealing. Add up the cumulative cost of narco-terrorism and narco-warfare, combining Peru, Colombia, and Bolivia's cocaine trade. Study how long these countries have been in perpetual conflict. Follow the trade routes and who control them. Map out the routes from Afghanistan, Uzbekistan, Turkey, the Becca Valley, Lebanon, Gaza, Sicily, converging into the United States. Over time, add up the total amount of people murdered, addicted, crime wave victims, monetary loss of property, loss of human productivity, national revenue, cost to the criminal justice system, and it will begin to approach figures comparable to Hiroshima and Nagasaki. If they drop a narco bomb, on the United States that left in one shot the numbers of crime victims and addicts I just cited, we would drop a nuclear bomb on them. But I want you to think of solutions. Capitulation is not a solution. Becoming drug addicts is not how to fix it. But, just think about this, but if the United States would seize the supply of poppy fields in Afghanistan, for instance, by cutting out the mafia middlemen. Instead, go directly to the farmers who make next to nothing for their crops. The reason they, don't, they grow poppy and not food is because the tribal mafia called the Baluchistan Mafia forced them to do it at gunpoint. Rather than spending the obscene amount of money or conventional warfare there, we buy out every poppy farmer in the country at a fair price, all of it. All of it. All of it. Then, resell it, for instance, to the pharmaceutical industry who use it to make medical supplies instead. Perhaps it would lessen the price of medicine. Perhaps it would drive the price of illegal heroin and opium because of the limited supply that now they cannot serve their markets. Then we can turn our attention to South America's cocaine trade with an eradication policy that would disrupt those suppliers. Perhaps. If we decrease the profit margin and increase the pain margin, the supply is dwindled into forced retirement, death, and irrelevancy as they realize they cannot survive against it. Now, war game these scenarios. Play out, what, play out the uh, what ifs and see where your analysis leads you. Think, my friends. Think. Look around. You are the next best hope for the future. It will fall to you. You. It's going to fall to you. It's all on you. I trust the Republic will be safe in your hands. It is my hope that the generation who comes after you will be free and not enslaved by the chains forged for them by a generation who traded it away for the false promise of comfort and safety driven by a runaway national indebtedness. I, uh, I hope this sparked your imagination, inspire you to think beyond your limits, and challenge yourselves to realize your amazing potential. The freedom of the Republic rests with all of you. You are all my heroes. Good luck and thank you. And now uh, we're going to have some question and answer time. So, thank you.